meet five brave amateur chefs ah. about to embark on the challenge of a lifetime. Simply gorgeous. They're taking over a top London restaurant. This is bloody hot. Oh, serving up their own favourite recipes. Hot pan. To a room full of discerning diners. Bit burning in. <laughs> Over five days, each rookie chef will tackle a different job. They'll cook four courses and escape the kitchen one evening to sparkle as maitre d. Every night, the highest scorer wins. And at the end of the week, one wannabe chef will be crowned king or queen of the kitchen, walking away with a thousand pounds in cash. Here's Johnny! Expect passion, pain, Ow! and some good old-fashioned panic. Look how reach. That's organisation for you, isn't it? This is Pressure Cooker. Enter our five brave amateur chefs. They've ditched the day jobs for the week to pursue their secret passion, food. First up is feisty mum of two and boss of her own business, Juliette, with a penchant for Far Eastern cooking. Second is the professional palate, Johnny, aiming to bring the best of British to the menu. Divorcee Salma hopes to spice things up, cooking Portuguese and Indian family specialities. Next is Cockney dad of four, John, championing the no-nonsense approach to cookery. And last but not least is Chelsea mum of two, Sarah, armed with her unique Celtic recipes with a modern twist. Their home for the next five nights is the Chancery, London. Nudging the Michelin star, this city slicker hangout is owned by Zach Jones and Andrew Thompson. With almost a million quid at stake in the business, they've put their culinary careers on the line, handing over their beloved restaurant to novice chefs. Super. Thank you very much, Chef. You're welcome. And they're determined standards won't drop. Yeah, right. Everything has to be 100%. That's the standards that we've set and standards that we demand. Andy boasts 20 long years of working with chefing gods such as Marco Pierre White. Let's hope he's not got the same temper. Take him off. Oh, I'm telling you to put him on now. Go. Out of the kitchen now. We're not ready. We don't need your off. I've made it perfectly clear. Oh, dear. So, day one of the competition and the first taste of a professional kitchen. Over the next five days, they'll take it in turns to cook four of their own homegrown dishes or escape the kitchen to be maitre d. With today's jobs already dished out and less than three hours until the diners arrive, their mentor, Zach, has just one thing to say. The Chancery has been running for over two years now and has had fabulous reviews. Don't mess it up. The Chancery Kitchen. Oh, yeah, on very low. We're going to be preparing the souffle here, yeah. which is your course, and the partridge. Yeah. So you'll be using the stoves. <laughs> you'll be on this table over that. here preparing your fish course. Yeah. And John, you'll be in the pastry section preparing your zabioni. But does anyone have any questions? No. All ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You have two and a half hours to get ready. Oh, great. Starter chef Sarah's not impressed. It's just really tiny. tiny. It's like a little wa rabbit warren. I'm going around on my knees half the time in here. At home, this yummy mummy spends most of her time in the kitchen cooking for her two young children. But this week, she'll be cooking for 25 demanding diners. It's great to be doing something that's not about mothers and school runs. No bath, no tea time, you know, no picking pasta off the bloody walls. Tonight in the restaurant, super confident Sarah is making a super confident starter. Twice baked cheese souffle. Here's how it's made. First, she makes the souffle mixture. Souffle is only the roux, milk, um, and then eggs, and then you add your seasoning. So it can be anything, sweet or savoury. In this case, it's gruyere and parmesan cheese, Dijon mustard, and an unexpected ingredient, anchovies. Delicious. And I know not everybody likes anchovy, but to be quite honest, you don't really taste the anchovy in it, it just makes it taste stronger. Whisked egg whites are folded in. Then she pours the mixture into ramekins before putting them in the oven. Simple. Oh, I think they're done. Oh my God, they've gone nuts in here. I think that what times they go in at? Can you remember? They've gone nuts, all right. She rescues her monster souffles by flipping them over, knocking up a roux-based cheese sauce, pouring it over, and browning them. 
Let's hope she can get it right on the night. If they turn out okay, I'm I'm okay. But if it doesn't, I'm absolutely up to Tony. Fish course sound is already asking questions. And for how many people wow. we are cooking? Tonight, wow. I believe you're cooking for 25. 25. And what happens with us? Are we eating as well? So we need to cook you, you'll 20... You'll be tasting your food, but no, you're no not eating. eating. I believe okay, you'll be tasting other people's dishes. Oh. Salma's not yet grasped the fact that there are few perks in a professional kitchen. At home, newly single Salma is passionate about cooking. My husband used to actually say you useless cook. After 25 years, their marriage ended. After divorce, I, it took me three years to put this wedding photo down. Now Salma's confidence for cookery is sky high. The secret of her success, Siroc. The energy definitely will help me in the kitchen, definitely. Tonight she's going for a Portuguese fish dish. Baked cod with courgettes. Add spring onions, garlic and peppers to cod fillet and cook for 25 minutes. Finally, fry up courgettes and toss in olive oil for the accompaniment. A simple dish, but the all-important thing for Salma is the presentation. It's very important for me because if the food is appealing to the eye, then I will taste it. All of the people are cooking with me, they're really lovely people, and it's so beautiful. Okay, last to cook tonight is John. You'd think he'd be happy with loads of time to prepare his pudding. Not a lot for me to do until, until actual sort of cooking time, really. You know, um, I'll be torment the rest of them, I suppose. <laughs> Jane, sit yourself down. When he's not coining it in as a cabbie, he spends all the time he can in the kitchen, dreaming up dishes to impress his lovely wife. Why do you always cook something that I've got on me? Is that every time, Mum? My family, they, they take the mick out of me when we're cooking. Not tonight. He's gone all Italian, cooking a family favourite. Zambaglione. Voila. Firstly, John makes up the mixture. Eggs, lemon zest, vanilla essence, and don't forget the most important ingredient, marsala. You can be tempted to drink this as you go, but don't. Please. And sugar. Just add heat and lots of whisking. I chose, I chose a baglioni for the challenge, you know, because if I'm going to go wrong, it's going to be spectacular. I know this is a competition, you know, but at the end of the day, it's still a bit of fun, isn't it? You know what I mean? I've got no chance of winning it, so I might as well log about. There's no larking about with the main course. Johnny's already got the knives out. Careful. Ah! You need to sell. Yeah. You OK? First blood drawn and he's not even started cooking. At home, Johnny is also a bit accident prone. Ah. I've had a few fires. <laughs> I lost my hair um, on my arms a couple of times. <laughs> uh, I've had a few cuts on my fingers as well. <laughs> and to make things worse, he's got to cook the most challenging dish of the night, the main. He's gone for... Partridge, which is stuffed with wild mushrooms, including porcini and a little bit of truffle. It's wrapped in parma ham. It's on a celeriac mask with some purple sprouting broccoli. First, he stuffs the partridge with mushroom filling. Then he wraps them in parma ham. While it's cooking, he knocks up his special mash of piper potatoes and celeriac and pops the broccoli on to boil. Try a little tenderness. Yeah, whatever, Johnny. Anyway, it seems quite straightforward. Well, it will be if he manages to keep his cool. First thing to do is prepare the mash. Hot, hot, hot pan. Hot pan. Pretty exhausted. My back's aching, I feel hot and soaked from the sweat. So many things are different in this kitchen to uh, a domestic kitchen. He's so serious, isn't he? Hot pan, hot pan. <laughs> there in the kitchen, I think it's time we walked up to the restaurant, show you where everything is and introduce you to the waiters. Upstairs, Juliet is practicing her role as maitre d. She's escaped the kitchen for her first night of the competition, but will be cooking downstairs for the rest of the week. The role and the job of a maitre d' is making sure it's smooth running, making sure that there isn't 
a huge delay between each course. But to, if I to... see a table waiting for too long, Definitely. with absolutely no food, absolutely. then it is my role to run yeah. down and... You, you and will, you will need to speak to the yeah. chef, you will need to keep them okay. informed. I'm going to be gently coercing them into moving their very nervous backsides, you know, because I know how stressed out they are. Downstairs, Sarah's souffles have survived their first bake. It's beautiful. Well, you should let them cool down. It's beautiful. Well, well they're kind of, isn't it? Well, they were, isn't They come out so beautiful. Well, lovely. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. With the diners arriving any minute and less than an hour before the starter is served, Juliet runs downstairs to the kitchen. Cracking on now. Out, out, out. I did yeah. it. Yeah. I just want to get my water. Good luck, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. luck, Sarah. All the best. Thank yeah? you, guys. All Thank the best. Thank you. Thank you. You okay, John? Yeah? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yes. You're okay. Come on. You've got her first, you've got me, and you are third. So you've got so much time. Do not no, worry. You've got no time. Right now. Right here. All right. Honestly, come on. You're okay. You'll be okay. Come on. You okay, Sarah? Do you need a right, lunch? No, yeah? I'd say they'll start in five minutes now. Yes. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to the Chancery. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Chancery. The diners have arrived. 25 of the capital's keenest foodies, all expecting a fine four-course feast. Showtime! We have a full restaurant. Everyone has come in. Great. All together. We have a full restaurant. They're all sat down. They're drinking their champagne. So get cooking. Really? Wow. Okay? Great. We'll be next. Yes. Then it's, then it's John. Expectations are running high for the rookie chefs and the diners. We eat out very regularly, so we're used to really good quality food. Come on, push, 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 you're too slow. You've got to start moving a little bit quicker, Sarah. It's all cooked properly, it's wonderful, but if things go wrong, we'll be the first to tell you. I'll get out of the way. I think she's myself. <laughs> Will Sarah's souffles rise to the occasion? Coming up, Johnny goes AWOL. Yeah. What's up? And which of the amateur chefs will be tonight's pressure cooker winner? The highest score goes to...